Well, hey church, um, first of all, I want to apologise for the state of my hair. I've been wearing a helmet and uh, it makes my hair look silly. But otherwise, let's get on with this. Uh, so a few weeks ago, I introduced you to a character from Proverbs known as Lady Wisdom. Uh, she is wisdom personified, right? And in today's passage, we hear a love song written about Lady Wisdom. It's found in Proverbs 3, verses 13 to 20. If you haven't read it yet, like I always say, press pause and do so, and you'll find that more profound and meaningful than anything that comes out of my mouth. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, so um, this is a love song. And like all other love songs, the writer just waxes lyrical about the beauty of his subject. The song begins in verse 13. Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding. And then the remainder of this song gives us reasons why this lady is so special. Three reasons, this song says. Verses 14 and 15, we hear that this woman is more precious than jewels or gold or silver. What a beautiful woman. Then verses 16 to 18a, uh, they tell us that when you love this woman, you will be at peace and experience life like never before. And then in verse 18b, uh, we hear that when you hold this beautiful woman, you are blessed. What an incredible woman this lady wisdom is. More precious than jewels, gold or silver. Someone who brings you peace uh, and life and someone who brings you God's blessing. This is, a, this is a woman you want to know, that you want to be in a relationship with. No wonder this beautiful love song is written about her. But of course, this isn't a traditional love song about a real woman. It's an ode to wisdom, uh, the life centered around God. Uh, and one line that really jumps out to me is the second part of verse 15. Nothing you desire, nothing you desire or nothing I desire can compare with her. Wow. Nothing we desire can compare with living in a relationship with God. That's huge. Nothing compares, not money or status or happy or family or health or power or happiness or, or anything. Nothing you or I can desire compares with God's wisdom, centering your life around him. It's worth everything. And as I think about the concept of how much wisdom is worth, I'm reminded of uh, two short parables Jesus tells. In Matthew 13, uh, verses 44 and 46, uh, he tells two really short parables. And here they are, verse 44. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again. And then in his joy, he went and sold all he had and bought that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and bought it. It's worth everything. Wisdom, the kingdom of God, relationship with Jesus is worth everything, everything, everything. Selling your fields, uprooting your life, changing your habits and desires, it's worth everything. And so I want to ask, what is standing in your way of fully surrendering to Jesus? Because whatever it is, cannot compare with him. As we wrap up, let's move from a love song to Lady Wisdom to a love song to Jesus. True wisdom incarnate. Uh, let me read the beautiful words of Paul from Philippians 2. Uh, and as I read it, allow yourselves to be captivated by the inc incomparable beauty of Jesus, who, in the being in the very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. This is the incomparable beauty of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, uh, the one who a relationship with is worth everything. Have you surrendered your all to him? Go in peace.